Contrary to popular belief, the 4% rule is alive and well today. I'll get to that in a couple minutes. But first of all, for those of you who don't know, because there's a lot of people out there who just hear 4% rule, 4% rule, what the heck is that? I'll tell you what it is. This was invented back in 1994 by Bill Bengen. What it means is you can spend 4% of your retirement portfolio every, every year and then adjust that every year by the rate of inflation and you will have enough money to last at least 30 years in your retirement. He tested this over 50 years from 1926 to 1976 and he posted his results in 1994. The stock to bond allocation that he went off of was 50-50 stocks to bonds. You can go up a little higher that as well, and you'll still fall in that those uh, parameters. What you don't want to do, though, is you don't want to have too little stocks because that won't work for you. You need to have your money grow for you, right? Guys, give me some comments. How many of you adhere to the 4% rule? How many of you think it's good? Think it's not? Let me know. And for those of you who see me for the first time, my name is Dwayne. And this is a retirement channel for people on moderate income. If you think about it like that, think about subscribing and like the video as well. Now, when Bengen did his analysis, he also looked at how would it look if you did 3% withdrawal rate? How would that look? 3% withdrawal rate would last 50 years. All of the 50 years he looked at, if you were taking the 3% withdrawal rate adjusting that by inflation every year, all those 50 years, no matter when you retired, your retirement savings would last you 50 years. Not bad, right? So if you want to get a little conservative, take it below a 4% withdrawal. You know, if you're thinking, well, I don't want to get that tight, you know, with my withdrawal rate, I might run out of money. 3%. How's that? I'll tell you what I've been doing. When I first started withdrawing in 2022, I took out a little over 4%, 4.1, 4.2. All right. 2023, luckily, I hadn't had a withdrawal because of the money I'm getting from YouTube. So there you go, guys. Part-time work. It always helps for people on moderate retirement. Now, Bengen also, when he looked at the 4% withdrawal rate, which is what the rule is based on, most of those years between 1926 and 1976, that still lasted 50 years of retirement if you took out a 4% withdrawal rate. The vast majority lasted 35 years, okay? So a 4% withdrawal rate lasting 30 years is a worst case scenario, according to his analysis. He also looked at a 5% withdrawal rate, more than half the time, it did not last 50 years if you're taking a 5% withdrawal rate. Some of the people who took a 5% withdrawal rate over those 50 years, it didn't last them even 20 years. So as you can see, the higher you go up, the less chances you have it of it even lasting 30 years. Okay, what about 6%? Bill was going crazy, man. He's take, pulling numbers left and right. What does he say about 30 or 6%? A 6% withdrawal rate, only seven. Seven of those years, if you retired in those years, it would last you 50 years. 10 lasted fewer than 20 years. So the higher you go in withdrawal rates, obviously, makes sense, right? You're pulling more money out. Your money might not last the less probability you have of it lasting 30 years. But look at what happened during those 50 years that he was looking at, 26 to 76. You had the Great Depression. I mean, was there a bigger downtime in the U.S. economy than the Great Depression? No. Your money, even if you pulled it, even if you retired during the Great Depression, if you were taking a 4% withdrawal rate, would last you 30 years, okay? How about the stagflation of the early to mid 70s? That was a terrible time for the US. If you took 4% out, adjusted every year for inflation, it would still last 30 years. Those are two of the worst times. If you look back 
on the U.S. economy that we've ever had, guys. And the 4% rule still worked. Not bad, right? Now, in 2015, Michael Kitsis has come up with a analysis of Bill Bengen's original work. He has gone all the way back to 1870 and up to 2008 financial crisis and backtested his work. And you know what, guys? The 4% rule holds. Yeah. 1870. Now, what happened during those years, especially the most ones, the ones after Bill Bengen started doing his or published his research paper? We had the tech crash of 2000. 4% still rule still worked. We had the 2008 financial crisis. 4% rule still worked. Michael Kitsis concluded, going back all the way to 1870 and up to, I believe, actually he went past 2008 because he published this in 2015. All those years, over 100 years, he back tested the 4% rule. And according to his analysis, it still works. So am I confident in the 4% rule? You better believe I'm confident in the 4% rule. There's a lot of things. Now look, the past does not predict the future, obviously, right? So we could have the most calamitous collapse we've ever had, let's say 10 years from now. And will the 4% still, rule still work? Who knows? But if you want to go back to 1870, and have over a hundred years of data, I'm good with that. How about you guys? Let me know. Let me know in the comments, what's your retirement withdrawal strategy? Is it working for you? Are you anxious about it? Let me know what you think, guys, because as far as I'm concerned, this data right here, that nails it for me. 4% rule is good for me. And just to comment about uh, comments in general. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for leaving your generous comments uh, to my video. We're almost up to 42,000 people now. Not bad, huh? From a tiny little channel from the high desert. Not bad at all. I really appreciate all the comments that are coming in. And the comments from first time people of leaving comments, they always, they always mention, wow, not always, let's say the vast majority. Wow, you guys got some great comments on here. Well, yeah, and that all comes down to you, to you looking at all the information and making your smart responses to this. I don't know everything, guys. Obviously, I am just going off of what has worked for me in retirement, right? And I know I say this every once in a while, but I also want to mention I'm not an expert by any means. So anything I mention on this channel, this is just general information that has worked for me over my retirement journey, okay? If there's anything on here that you get from me or that you get from people in the comments, may seem good, but before you enact that new advice that you've heard, if you're not sure about it at all, run it by someone knowledgeable who is, okay? Run it by a professional, financial advisor, retirement planner. In the past for me, if I would go come across information that I thought I might wanna act on, I would always run it by knowledgeable people first. I'm not just jumping in it on myself and say, hey, I'll take my $500,000 nest egg and I'll put it to this strategy and we're all good. No, it doesn't work that way, guys. Whatever you hear on this channel, whatever you see in the comments, please, please run it by a professional first before acting on it, okay? I always mention in the comments of my videos, but every once in a while, I got to state it face to face, all right? So anyway, guys, there you go. I'm good with a 4% rule. I don't know about you guys. I mean, whatever your withdrawal strategy is, you know, a 4% rule, if you go by the bucket strategy, whatever, Whatever works for you, works for you. I'm just telling you what's worked for me. I'm sticking by it, man, because we're talking over 100 years of research. Hey, if something comes up totally out of the ordinary in the next 20 years, you got to live with it, right? You got to live with it. The past does not predict the future. But over 100 years of data, I'm good. 
And just remember, as always, guys, we got this.